evening, experts. Let's meet the first of our two competitors, Sylvia Cruz, an account executive from Chicago, Illinois. Sylvia, you've been chosen to be a swan. Oh, my God! No! I just selected! <laughs> oh my lord. I've been through so much, and I'm only 27 years old. My father left us when we were very young. We were not raised with the love of a man. I got married to a man who was my high school sweetheart. I was so in love. I got pregnant. I lost the baby. After that, he really changed. That relationship ended really bad. I was not expecting it. I would have liked him to just tell me, this was not gonna work out and let me go. Rather than making me believe, like my father made my mother believe that he was gonna come back or that things were gonna work out. They never worked out for my mom and my dad and they were never gonna work out for me or him. I started dating Michael in November. He's a great guy. I know her difficult past, and that's tormenting her from accepting that she is a beautiful woman. Right now, intimacy, uh, not much, not much. Because of what I went through with someone else, I have problem trusting him. If I could do anything that I want, I would fix my ears. Growing up, they would always make up these names, Thumbo, and she always hated it. My sisters, they're gorgeous women. I can't say I look at myself and think, wow, what a gorgeous woman. No, but I would like not to have such big thighs. It's always been a challenge for Sylvia to stay in shape, and it's simply because the Latino community when it comes to uh, food. Here at home, I do Latin food. That's called an elote. It's corn, butter, cheese, and mayonnaise. I love my dessert, and maybe there I might have a problem. <laughs> I don't feel happy. I need to really deal with these feelings of not being able to trust. Because I really want to let go. Well, Debbie, something tells me those desserts and Latin food will not be on the menu at the Swan program. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it. I am going to have to immediately put her on a low-fat, low-calorie diet. She's got at least 30 pounds to lose. So I'm going to have to put her on a really hardcore program with cardio six days a week and kick it really, really hard. Dr. Yanni, she keeps thinking that if she doesn't trust, she's going to stay safe. The more she doesn't trust, the less she's actually going to get somebody to be present and available because she's pushing them away. And Dr. Hayworth? It's not just about her ears, but she does have a rather bland bone structure to her face. What I would do for her is to put in cheek implants as well as a chin implant. We have to straighten her nose, give her a more feminine look. Not to forget about her body. A lot of liposuction. Hopefully that will inspire her to get on the program with Debbie. What about you, Dr. Worth? Even after Dr. Hayward does a chin implant, her teeth are way too big for her face. So what I'd like to do is do some veneers on all of her front teeth and make her mouth look a little smaller. The question is, will she be pageant ready in three months? Oh, yes. yes. I think so. Definitely. Let's have a look at her plan.